What is up guys? So it is now finally time to unbox this iPhone XS Max. If you guys are curious, this is the 512 gigabyte silver XS Max and uh, you know, it's a little pricey, but uh, to help do a better unboxing video of it, we've got the camera here and also James back here filming with the Canon C200, getting some nice, beautiful shots. So you know what? Without any more talking, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, unbox this thing. All right, so same as last year, we've got Designed by Apple in California. All the paperwork's gonna be in there. But under that is where the actual phone is. And guys, this is a big phone, wow. Look at that. All right, really quick before we go deeper into the box. And that is about the cleanest this phone will ever look in its life. So we're gonna set this off to the side for right now, go a little bit deeper. In this envelope, you've got a quick start guide, you've got, it. oh wow, it actually came with a SIM ejector tool. That's, that's nice. I've never had an iPhone come with that before. Uh, you've got this, this thing, not entirely sure what that is, and uh, some Apple stickers. So, deeper into the box, guys, we've got the same, still not fast charging, still not USB-C, uh, iPhone charge brick. These things have been around friggin' forever. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that in here for right now. And we have the Apple ear pods, which there's no more dongle for you to connect a normal set of headphones. So thanks Apple, you know, I, you would think a $1,500 phone would come with that, but no, no, it's okay. And uh, one of my favorite things about new iPhones, a fresh lightning cable, you know, these are, these are just the best right there. So I got smart this year and decided to grab a uh, pre-ordered 10S Max silicone case. This is the same case I have on my 10 right now, and it's a good case, so I decided, you know, why not grab one for the new phone as well? So to unbox these, all you do is, um, and there you go. Microfiber lined right in there, you know, that's pretty soft. And uh, there's the case itself right there. I've had this since Wednesday. So not opening it was, uh, you know, kind of annoying. But we're just gonna go ahead and grab this iPhone right here, stick it in its case, and we will turn it on after I do that. So there's your classic Apple startup screen for the iPhone XS Max. And guys, let me just say really quick, this is the perfect sized iPhone for me. I, I love this size of a phone. I always felt like the 10 was too small and uh, now they finally fixed that. And also on the bottom here, you have the uh, no longer symmetrical speaker and microphone cutouts because there is an antenna band there now. So that's, that's a thing. Now we've got the uh, Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe up to unlock that and I'm gonna go ahead and set this up really quick. We are now back with the iPhone XS Max. Uh, we're still kind of restoring from the backup right now, you know, downloading the apps, because I actually forgot what this does is it will restore your home screen layout and um, your settings, but then it will download your apps and photos and messages completely in the background so you can just, you know, continue to use your phone as you normally would, of, except of course the apps that have not been downloaded yet. But either way guys, this phone is absolutely the perfect sized iPhone. I love the physical size of it, I love that screen, and um, you know, you still got your 3D touch on there, which is always a good thing also might be going away soon, which is kind of sad. I hope they keep it. Um, the 10R I know doesn't have it, but um, there you go, guys. There's not really much more else to say. I guess one more time, I will give you a uh, nice caseless look at this phone, but I'm not gonna make the mistake of going caseless again because my iPhone 10 is a little bit scratched up. Just, uh, that's an understatement. <laughs> 
Alrighty, so there you go guys. There's your shiny silver iPhone XS Max, 512 gigabyte. This phone was way too expensive, but you know what? That's, that's gonna be okay. It actually doesn't look like I even fingerprinted the back of it up during the unboxing, so that's always a good thing. Well, there you go, guys. That is going to be it for this unboxing. I'm pretty sure I already said that a bunch of times, but now for real, it's over. Big thanks to James Greb for operating the Canon C200 behind me, getting these nice close shots of the product like you're seeing right now. All the links to all his social media will be linked in the description. SoundCloud, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, all that. And until the next video, guys, that is going to be it. So thank you for watching.